नमस्ते यू हार्टी वेलकम टू ऑल माय बिलविड फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस मिड पॉइंट थीर विच इज इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर सेवन क्वाड्रलैटरल थीरम नंबर सेवन पॉइंट नाइन इट इज वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल interesting important and has wide applications okay so the statement is this the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is the first point is parallel to the third side and second point is half of the third side so this is the general enunciation of the theorem samanya nirupan i think a figure will help us to understand this much better okay so here is a scalene triangle abc so let us write down the data also in triangle abc we have point number 1 ad is equal to db so this is the point d on ab such that ad is equal to db and uh, the second point is this so e is the point on ac such that ae is equal to ec okay so this is the data part given this we have to prove that two things number one is the line segment d let us join d and e now so this is the line segment joining the mid points of the two sides ab and ac so this one de is parallel to the third side this is the third side bc so we have to show that de is parallel to bc and the length of this is also given by it is exactly half of bc so this is the second point so we have to prove that de is equal to half of bc so are you clear friends uh, you are sure of data and to prove okay you all know that this requires a simple construction shall we do that okay so the construction part is this okay now extend de to f we have to extend this line segment de to a point say somewhere here f such that see we are extending uh, uh, it is this is our point uh, f it should be such that ef is equal to de okay observe the figure ef must be equal to de in such a way we need to extend the line segment de once we do that we need to join this f and c okay that's all so join f and c so this is the simple construction with the help of this i think we can easily i uh, demonstrate this midpoint theorem shall we no go to the proof part friends yes before that to understand the proof we have got two uh, prerequisites friends so let us uh, try to understand or recall the prerequisites one by one if in a quadrilateral one pair of opposite sides is parallel and equal so observe the figure also at the left bottom so we have ab is parallel to cd so let us uh, write down the data also ab is parallel to cd not only that the length of ab is equal to length of cd so ab is equal to cd so if this is so then the other pair of opposite sides is also parallel and equal so we need to show that ac is parallel to bd and ac is equal to bd so let us join the extremities of the two parallel and equal line segments 
So given AB is parallel to CD and the length of AB is equal to CD, then we have to show that AC is parallel to BD and AC is equal to BD. This is already very well established theorem. So if you want to prove this, you just draw any one diagonal, say join B and C and try to make use of SAS criterion by which you can easily demonstrate this uh, important theorem which we are going to use in the mid proving midpoints theorem. There is one more prerequisite friends. This is the one. If lines are parallel, say here A, B and C, D are parallel and E, F is the transverse cell. So arrow mark indicates that they are parallel to each other. So the data is A, B is parallel to C, D. Then alternate angles are equal. We know that there are two pairs of alternate angles. Sometimes it is also called as Z angles. You can see angle AGH means this one is equal to angle GHD means this. We have to show that these two angles are equal. And in fact, we are going to use the converse to this. So what is the converse to this statement? So the converse is this. If alternate angles are equal, okay, so we are showing the alternate angles also. We are just showing one pair. The other pair we are not showing here at all. So there are two pairs. So let us concentrate on one pair only. If alternate angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. Okay, this is the converse to the theorem. So these are the two prerequisites which we are going to use in proving midpoint theorem. Okay, so now we will start proving the midpoint theorem. So here is the figure with all the construction. Observe carefully the figure. So how to start the proof? So can you see a triangle here? A, D, E. And here is another triangle C, F, E. Uh, do you think that these two triangles are congruent? If so, shall we start comparing the sides and angles of these two triangles and find out whether these two are congruent? Okay, that is the first stage. Okay, now compare triangle A, D, E and triangle C, F, E. A, D, E means this. C, F, E means this. Let us compare the sides and angles of these two triangles. So you know that only hardly three points are enough. The first point is AE is equal to CE. You see, observe the figure. AE and CE are equal. Do you know the reason? Yes, the reason is because of data. Data. Okay, what is the second point to be considered? Okay, now angle AED, that is this angle, is equal to angle C, E, F, that is this angle. These two angles are equal. Do you know the reason? This is one single straight line. So this is already the one side of the uh, triangle only. So these are the two straight lines intersecting each other at this point E. Therefore, vertically opposite angles are equal. So this is point number two. Now, what should be our third point, friends? Observe the figure. Yes, the third point is D is equal to EF. D and EF are equal. You know the reason very well. It is because of construction. So comparison is over and understood that the two sides and an included angle of one triangle are respectively equal to two sides and an included angle of another triangle then don't you think these two triangles are said to be congruent friends? Yes, these two are congruent triangles. That means they have the same shape and same area. Do you know the reason? Yes, the reason is yes, yes, yes. Side angle side criterion. Okay, now we understood that these two triangles are congruent. What about the implications? What is the effect of this? So that we have to write it now. 
okay this implies that equals with an arrow mark should be read dash this implies that idara parinama vagi anta odkolana this implies that point number 1 can we say ad is equal to fc this side ad and fc don't you think they are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles so therefore they became equal when uh, they became equal but you know already this ad is already equal to db because of data so part ad is equal to db because of data okay observe the left hand sides of these two equations we have ad ad only we have the same thing so why don't you recall axiom number 1 and say that so db is equal to fc look at the segment db so this segment is equal to this so we have proved that db is equal to fc by the implications of the congruent triangles okay so that's because of axiom number 1 things which are equal to is the same thing must be equal to one another any other implications friends yes we have one more implication that is number 2 look at the angles which are equal okay can you say that angle dae that is this angle is equal to angle fce because if you consider this ab and uh, uh, this one the, these are the corresponding again parts of congruent triangles only so with, when these two angles are equal now recall one of the second prerequisite that if uh, alternate angles are equal then the lines are parallel so that is the theorem if alternate angles are equal then the lines must be parallel therefore we have ab parallel to fc the whole segment ab is parallel to fc so this is because of the theorem which states that if alternate angles are equal then the lines are parallel okay now let us concentrate on the quadrilateral dbcf so d b c yeah so this is the quadrilateral in this quadrilateral we have established two things number one db is parallel to fc uh, instead of saying ab we can say it as db also because adb are collinear so db is parallel to fc this we have proved not only that we have also proved that db is equal to fc now look at this step db is equal to fc so these two sides are parallel and these two sides are equal also therefore can you not say that dbc is a parallelogram because we know the line joining the extremities of two parallel and equal line segments on the same side of it are also parallel and equal therefore that is the theorem which we already discussed in prerequisite so wonderful we have d b c f is a parallelogram and once it becomes a parallelogram i think uh, it is solved whatever we wanted uh, to prove i think it is established now okay that we will write it now okay so you know that de therefore de must be parallel to bc because in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal instead of saying de we will just say de is parallel to bc because in a uh, parallelogram up two pairs of opposite sides are parallel this is point number 1 friends what about the length of de friends by construction don't you think this length of de is half of de and df is equal to bc therefore can we say that de is equal to half of df because of construction when it is half of df it has to be half of bc hence proof so this is the proof for the midpoints theorem so beautiful you know very very important theorem okay so this is the proof based on congruency of uh, uh, triangles okay now 
the uh, next videos will be on uh, converse of midpoints theorem and intercept theorem also uh, followed by friends by applying the midpoint theorem to quadrilateral parallelogram rectangle square rhombus trapezium uh, isosceles trapezium and chi so we will apply the midpoints theorem for all these eight cases separately okay and you will also see the alternate proof for uh, midpoint theorem also okay using the intercepts theorem and basic proportionality theorem so alternate methods are also there we are going to discuss the alternate proofs also so we have 14 short and uh, separate uh, videos on midpoint theorem which includes the summary also at the end okay i request all my beloved friends to watch all the videos very carefully and encourage our students in this regard so this is the video number one in the series Thanks for watching friends. Okay. Namaste. Namaste friends. Namaste.